Hello everyone, this is Ashish and let us talk a little bit more about preparation strategies. What are the common mistakes when preparing for competitive examination? Few days ago, I was talking to one of the aspirant. Now these days, everyone is going full blaze towards gate 2021. People are at their peak of preparation towards this examination and uh, people are working hard but working hard necessarily does not mean that you're working in the right direction also working in the right direction is more important hard work is supplementary that helps uh, what i would say is hard work is definitely necessary but it is not sufficient you have to work in the right direction as well so i was talking to that aspirant and he has not only uh, appeared in gate once he has appeared two times and both the times he has faced failures uh, first time he appeared while he was just graduating in his final year right and the reasons that he was mentioning that i worked very hard but still i could not come up with results where this this and this and i said that it is so unfortunate because obviously you made such mistakes that will just waste your time but another problem was that i had never talked about those things in a concise manner in a particular video now i have made a video 10 common mistakes do this or don't prepare i'm not going to discuss any of those over here but these are the things that i have missed in the past while discussing what are the common mistakes that people make basically this one will be focused towards the mentality of students who have been preparing for or appearing in semester examination four years of their btech they have appeared in a lot of semester examinations and even before that when they were in their school days the way that they studied for those examination those subjective examination which were having limited amount of syllabus uh, small comparatively when we compare it to the competitive examination syllabus the method of preparation is completely different and the problem is that no one is actually telling them that this is how you should be preparing for competitive examination they do not understand that there's a difference of day and night between any other semester examination and your competitive examination like gate engineering services isro and bag that is the reason why there are so many people who did not perform very well in their school days who performed poorly in their college days but did very well when it came to competitive examination i've seen so many people who are having just 60 61 percentage in their btech qualified ioc sorry iocl they were not eligible that is the thing they were not eligible for a lot of psus but they still were able to crack psu like ongc they were able to crack bhava atomic research center so it does not matter what was your cgpa because the method of preparation is completely different when it comes to semester examination and when it comes to competitive examination and those are the things that i want to clear out the number one mistake that people make is the mug up attitude so how you study in semester examination no you will be having class notes whatever teacher taught in class and you will try to memorize each and every corner of that class note and you will try to memorize it by heart and basically everything that you do in semester examination or the examinations that you appeared in your school days were focused towards mug up that is the mug up mentality that most people got raised with and they do not understand that you no matter what you do you will never be able to mug up the four engine four years of your engineering and will be able to apply it in three hours of your examination that is just not possible that is why these examinations have a different level of class that you will have to appear in it with concepts in your head you are able to solve problems based on whatever you have studied your stream of engineering or sciences so it is very important to understand subjects well and uh, that is the thing a lot of people think no that i should be able to solve this question that mentality brings something like if you're giving a test series then what you will be doing you will be a lot of people have this temptation that okay i made a mistake in this question of this test series so i'll note it down in a separate notebook trust me i know this because i've done that also and a lot of people are having this misconception in preparation of a semester examination that's what you would do questions you are not able to solve you are noted down and one day before the examination two days before the examination you are going to maybe revise it because that is limited number of questions that you have to go through but over here when it comes to competitive examination there are thousands of questions thousands of previous year questions thousands of questions coming in test series so you do not have to become good at that particular question that you made mistake in you have to become good at solving new questions in general and that is where most people make mistakes so what should we do when it comes to a test series and i'm not able to solve a particular question well this is what you do after the test series is over give yourself 10 to 15 minutes 
without looking at the solution trying to attempt the question on your own and if you're able to solve it well and good if you're not able to solve it there are some questions in test series which might be wrong that is very very possible or might be out of syllabus so after 15 minutes or 20 minutes you leave it you see the solution and you understand that solution if there's a concept that you were not aware of if there's a thinking process that you were not uh, knowing before then what you can do is note that down in one line or something like that but do not note down the full solution because i've done that and i was never able to revise that you will not be having that time or it is not necessary or required either now the third mistake would be following too much of reference books or even following wrong reference books now i've made a full video on reference book where i've explained each and every subject for mechanical engineering because that's what i can talk about but these are the reference books that you should follow but there are a lot of reference books that will be having a lot of mistakes that are teaching in the wrong direction and people will be following because of their semester examinations and all right but the first step for you is to find out which are good reference books it is completely fine if you're reading a particular reference book just for your semester examination but do not expect yourself to be performing very well in gate examination or competitive examinations when you are following wrong reference books okay so you can watch that video the third fourth mistake that most people make is that because of the semester see every problem that are arising over here are because of semester exams only because people are trained in a different manner to appear for semester examination and then they apply the same thing to their competitive examination and i've seen them like people are putting those philosophies that they applied in semester examination for a full year when they have taken a drop preparing for competitive examination and finding zero result other mistakes are not having proper revision strategy because no one teaches that to you for semester examination because one semester lasts for six months and six subjects and you finish it right there and you never need a proper revision strategy but those are the things that i've already discussed in the 10 mistake video so i'm not going to repeat myself over here but more importantly a lot of people are having a habit of solving those questions behind a chapter of a reference book now i've talked about this that do follow good reference books but no matter how good the reference books are if you're preparing for competitive examinations you are not supposed to solve those questions which are behind the chapter so those long questions that will take you some will even take hours for you to solve so if you are interested in solving conceptual questions okay if you are interested because yes conceptual questions or lengthy subjective questions does help you to improve your concept then you'll have to look at the priority where you are standing let us say you are standing somewhere in third year then you'll have to look at how much time you are having because you'll have to deal with your semester examinations also first priority would be gate previous year questions second priority would be engineering services previous year question third priority would be test series fourth priority would be isro previous year questions if you if it is available for your branch and fifth priority would be not your textbook questions that has that should not be solved in any case if you are interested in solving your subjective questions that is going to improve your concept and conceptual level of understanding of a particular subject then go for engineering services conventional questions that is also available by various coaching institutes that you can buy that book but i'm not sure if you will be having that much amount of time in any state whether you are undergraduate graduate or you have passed out or preparing it is very difficult i was able to solve for one or two subjects for example thermodynamics or fluid mechanics it did help it gives you very good concept of how everything works you'll understand how entropy works and uh, from those conventional questions small questions can come in gate examination that will be helpful okay and gate also earlier used to give some conventional questions so if you get the access of that then you can solve but yes always keep in mind the priority and never solve the questions behind the textbook so that is not going to help like i've said before there are million different types of question you have to become expert at one particular type of question that and that question that is going to appear for that particular competitive examination so those things keep in mind there are a lot of mistakes that a lot of people are making they're working very hard i'm very proud of them that they're working very hard but at the end of the day it does not really matter how hard you work it matters how hard you work and how well you work or the direction that you work in okay other things are very important as well cyclic revision parallel revision how to analyze the test series those are all the videos that i've already made the links will be available down in the description box i suggest you do go through them momentum podcast is going to come out tomorrow itself it is on career next day is the pradhan is coming up 
to talk to you guys about product design uh, what is the career over there he has done his masters in product design from milan italy so i think he's one of the best to explain it to you guys what is product design and how to pursue a career in that but other than that i'll be bringing other people from various fields of whatever they are doing in their career so that you get introduced to different career paths as well everyone over here knows about engineering medical but obviously there are lot of career fields that you might rather prefer to pursue if you had the information other than that talk and fire podcast coming out every saturday that means today itself it will be coming out 5 pm and you can check it out on the youtube channel named amalgam all the links will be available down in the description box that's about it guys i'll see all of you in the next one till then bye Thank you.